quarrels and disputes kalaha vivada sutta from where do quarrels and disputes arise lamentation sorrow and miserliness from where do conceit and arrogance arise along with slander please tell me this quarrels and disputes arise from what is pleasing as do lamentation sorrow and miserliness conceit and arrogance along with slander quarrels and disputes are connected with miserliness and slander occurs when disputes arise from what do pleasing things in the world originate and those states of greed that spread through the world from what do longing and fulfillment originate which a person has about the future pleasing things in the world originate from desire as do those states of greed that spread through the world from this originate the longing and fulfillment that a person has about the future from what in the world does desire originate and from what do judgments to arise and anger for speech and perplexity and those other things the ascetics has mentioned desire originates based on what they say is pleasant or unpleasant in the world having seen the vanishing and coming to be of forms a person forms a judgment in the world anger false speech and perplexity these things too arise when that yard exists one perplexed should train on the path of knowledge having known the ascetic stated these things from what do the pleasant and unpleasant originate when what does not exist do these not come to be as to this matter of vanishing and coming to be tell me from what it originates the pleasant and unpleasant originates from contact when contact does not exist these do not come to be as to this matter of vanishing and coming to be i tell you that it originates from this from what in the world does contact originate from what do possessions to arise when what does not exist is there no taking as mine when what has vanished do contacts not touch one contacts are dependent upon name and form possessions are based on desire when desire does not exist there is no taking as mine when form has vanished contacts do not touch one how much one attain for form to vanish how do pleasure and pain also vanish please tell me this how they vanish we would like to know that such is my thought not percipient through perception not percipient through disturbed perception not altogether without perception not percipient of what was vanished for vanishes for one who has to attain for concepts due to proliferation are based on perception you explain to us whatever we asked you let us now ask something else please tell me this do some wise men here say that at this point this is the foremost purity of the spirit or do you speak of it as different from this some wise men here say that at this point this is the foremost purity of the spirit but some among them claim to be skilled speak of attainment without residue remaining having known these to be dependent and having known the dependencies the muni the investigator 
having known, liberated, does not enter disputes, the wise one does not come upon various states of existence. <laughs>